Today, we'll explore the top skills that can significantly boost your salary and accelerate your career. So whether you are just starting out or already in the field, we'll cover what skills matter the most and how to develop them. I'm Nathan from Station X, and in this episode of Cybersecurity Diaries, we'll start with the lowest paid skills, which are the well-paid skills, and work our way up to the highest of the high paid skills. So stick around and find out which skill set ranks at the top. And make sure to like and subscribe if you want more insights like this and stay until the end where I'll share a bonus tip, bonus tips on how to increase your earnings by 30 to 50% above the averages that I'm going to be quoting here for each skill set. Plus get a free guide packed with even more details about these skills and how to acquire them. Now let's get into the skills, starting with the lowest of the highest paid first. We have operational skills. These involve incident detection, threat response, and automation using tools like Splunk, QRadar, CrowdStrike. If you're proficient in these and things like SIEM, S-I-E-M, those sorts of tools, automation tasks, then you'll be in demand. You can expect to earn something like 91,000 to 143,000 plus, according to our research. And with certifications like Security Plus, CYSA, you can, that can help you stand out and gain those skills. And remember, for any of these skill sets that I'm talking about here, there's more details on the specifics and how to acquire them in the PDF guide that I'll show you how to grab at the end. Okay, so the next well-paid skill is network security, network security skills. This includes things like knowing firewall configuration, VPN setup, and using tools like Wireshark, Snort to analyze network traffic configuring devices like Palo Alto, Cisco ASA also is essential for protecting organizations from threats. If you master these skills, you will be looking to earn something like 110,000 to 156,000 plus in that sort of range. Certifications like CCNP security or CISSP are valuable for learning these sorts of skills. Right, moving along, we have ethical hacking skills. This focuses on identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities to strengthen security skills like penetration testing, vulnerability scanning, and of course, report writing are crucial, along with tools like Kali Linux, Burp Suite, Nmap. So ethical hacking skills, these can typically earn you somewhere like 104,000 to 169,000 plus. Certifications like OSCP, Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH, appear on job specs and will boost your profile in this skill set. Following that, we have malware analysis skills. This area involves knowing things like reverse engineering and reverse engineering of malicious software to understand its behavior and mitigate the potential impact of that malicious software. So then that's reverse engineering skills. It's behavioral analysis skills. You'll know tools like IDA Pro, Guidra, and Cuckoo Sandbox. Those are pretty crucial. Professionals with this skill set can typically earn around 121,000 US dollars to 175,000 US dollars plus, and certifications like GREM and CISP are highly sought after. Next up, going up the list, we have incident response skills. This means managing and mitigating security breaches requires a expertise in forensic analysis too. Think about threat detection skills and disaster recovery, along with tools like NCASE, also FTK, Splunk sometimes. Professionals with these skills can expect to earn 117,000 US dollars to 182,000 plus. Certifications like GCIH and GCFA can boost your credibility. Next, the following skill area is application security. So think about protecting software and web applications. This involves securing code. It involves using SAST and DAST testing, that's S-A-S-T, D-A-S-T, API security, along with tools like SonarCube, Veracode, Burp Suite. Professionals with these skills can earn somewhere between 128,000 US dollars to 195,000 US dollars. Certifications like C-S-S-L-P or O-S-W-E will make you more competitive in this particular space. Another well-paid skill area is security management overseeing an organization's security policies, managing risk. Managing risk requires skills, obviously, in risk management, security governance, strategy, and regulatory compliance. Tools like RSA Archer, QRadar can be used. So with strong management skills, 
you can earn between 120,000 and 195,000 plus US dollars. Certifications like CISM, CISP are pretty important in this space. And moving up the list higher, we have cloud security. With more businesses moving to the cloud, skills in cloud security, cloud architecture are important. This would include things like encryption, IAM, and increasingly valuable, especially with tools like AWS Security Hub, Azure Security Center, and Google Cloud Security. Cloud security professionals can earn between 110,000 to 204,000 plus. Think about certifications like AWS Certified Security and CCSP. These will make you as a standout candidate. Near the top of the list, we have security architecture skills or enterprise security architecture skills. This is the ability to design secure systems and it requires knowledge of networks, network design, risk assessments, zero trust architectures. There can be an understanding of tools like AWS Security Hub, Palo Alto firewalls. Professionals in this area can earn between 156,000 to 234,000. Certifications like CISP, SABSA, S-A-B-S-A, and TOGAF, T-O-G-A-F, are highly recommended. Now, in one of the most emerging fields, we have AI and ML, artificial intelligence and machine learning security. This area focuses on securing AI models, adversarial testing of them, and privacy preserving techniques. Tools like TensorFlow and PyTorch are used here. Experts in the field can earn in this new field anywhere between 105,000 to 250,000 plus, especially for those big AI companies, making it one of the most lucrative areas in cybersecurity. And finally, at the top of the list, not including the bonuses that I'm going to give you, there is risk management and governance. We're talking here about the skills of chief information security officers. These are the ones where you oversee the organization's entire security framework. This means skills of managing risk, of strategic planning, compliance. Your tools are not digital tools. They are soft skills like leadership, communication, problem solving, and critical thinking. With strong governance skills, you can earn between 165,000 US dollars all the way up to 490,000 US dollars plus certifications like CISM, CISP, CRISC are beneficial at this level. All right, as promised, let's talk about how you can boost your earnings by 30 to 50% above those averages that I've just quoted for you in each of those skill sets. Now, one of the secrets is simply working for large enterprise organizations like FTSE 500. Fortune 500 companies and multinational corporations. These organizations pay significantly more for cybersecurity professionals because of the scale, the complexity, and the sensitivity of the data they manage. They have the money and they want to hire the best. So, for example, in the tech industry, we have the usual suspects like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Apple. They're known for paying their senior security roles anywhere between 200,000, 300,000, you know, sometimes more than that. In finance, You've got companies like JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, Citibank, where top cybersecurity professionals can make over 200,000 and chief information security officers can earn 400,000 or more. You've got healthcare. That's another industry that pays well. Companies like United Health Group or Pfizer offer salaries in the range of 150,000 to 300,000, especially for roles that protect patient data directly. And then there's defense and aerospace companies like Lockheed Martin. Rathian, they're offering some of the highest paid salaries in cybersecurity with roles ranging from 300,000 or more at the senior and executive levels. Also, as a bonus, think about the gaming industry. It's emerging as a surprising leader in security salaries. Companies like Epic Games and Electronic Arts are offering competitive packages ranging from 180,000, 350,000 for senior security roles, often with additional equity compensation. And I'm going to give you two bonus skill sets now, or really their roles, to specific specialist roles where there's a high earning potential within cybersecurity. So not to be forgotten, they may not be for you, but they certainly should be mentioned because of their earning potential. First is the cybersecurity lawyer, or can be called a solicitor as well. These experts focus on the legal side of digital security, handling issues like data breaches, compliance with privacy laws, and advising companies on regulations. Many or much of the work can be done as in-house counsel for big companies, providing guidance to keep 
businesses compliant and secure. In the US, salaries can range from 70,000 all the way up to 400,000 for those in senior in-house roles at large companies reaching the top end of the scale. Next up is the bonus. We have cybersecurity sales. So this is a skill set, a role where you sell security solutions like software, managed services to businesses. The pay usually includes a base salary plus commission for meeting your sales targets. And in the US, total earnings can range from 120,000 to half a million plus with the high end seen at big companies like Microsoft, AWS, Palo Alto Networks, where top performers can earn big by closing those large deals and exceeding targets and getting commission for them. Now, before we wrap up, here are three emerging trends that could impact the salary ranges. Think about zero trust architecture. This is a buzz phrase at the moment. So specialists can be seeing 20 to 30% higher salaries. We've already mentioned AI. We've got quantum safe security experts. They're becoming increasingly valuable. Privacy, engineering, regulation, roles. Those are uh, commanding premium salaries in regulated industries too. So that is our breakdown of the highest paid skills in cybersecurity. So whether you're focused on operations or aiming for cloud computing or management or CISO or AI, these skill sets can significantly boost your career, into, certainly in terms of salary anyway. So let me know in the comments, which of these skills are you currently developing and what's your target salary range? I read and respond to every comment, so I'll be looking below for them. If you want more tips on how to develop these skills and stay ahead in the cybersecurity industry, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for weekly cybersecurity career insights, check out the description for the free PDF guide that's going to give you much more information on how to gain these skills. And also you can apply for StationX membership where we have everything you need to succeed in cybersecurity. Thanks for watching and I'll see you, or thanks for listening, and I'll see you on the next episode of Cybersecurity Diaries.